Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Uh, for this week's Sprint Galaxy S4 ROM of the week, we're going to skip it. Uh, instead, we're going to try the uh, Sprint Galaxy S4 SIM Unlock, uh, which will allow you to use your SIM uh, and also use your Sprint Galaxy S4 as a world phone. Um, so first thing you'll want to do, um, you can do this on AOSP ROM, but I advise do it on TouchWiz ROM uh, for compatibility issues. Uh, make sure you go check the baseband. If you have MF9, um, you will have to uh, downgrade to MDC or MDL. Um, so go ahead and let's go ahead and downgrade it. For those of you on MDC or MDL, if it ends in MDC or MDL, uh, where it says baseband. Um, let me see if I can make this. Yeah, this right as it goes. Let me go ahead and do this. There you go. Uh, if you're not on, uh, if you're not on MDC or MDL. Um, keep following. If you do have MDL or MDC, you can go ahead and skip this step where we're, we're going to uh, install the the modem. So I'm going to go ahead and install the modem. I power off your phone and put it into download mode. And we're going to go ahead and uh, install the, I think the MDC, yes. Go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and power just like when you root at your phone. Uh, installing custom recovery. All right, when you see the warning screen, hit the volume up. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to our Iker USB to our computer. And let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need to download the SPHL720 MDC modem.tar.md5. I'll have links on my site. And also, you'll need Odin program. If you don't already have it, go ahead and download it also. If you unzip the files, you'll get two files, Odin v185 and Odin3.ini. Go ahead and run the program. And uh, if you run Odin, uh, if you get this yellow highlighted box, you're good to go. That means your driver's installed. If you don't see this, go ahead and download and install Samsung USB drivers. I'll have links on my site uh, and install that. And once that's done, try unplugging your phone and plug it back in. And you should be able to see yellow highlight, sorry. Um, next, go ahead and choose PDA. Do not touch anything else. And go ahead and find that file you downloaded of the modem. And I'm going to go ahead and find the SPHL720 MDC modem.tar.md5. I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and this will flash the older modem and downgrade uh, you from MF9, if you're on MF9, um, to MDC. Uh, so it is taking a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, it should be going here. Give me a second here. All right. All right, if you're having trouble, try plug it in into another uh, USB. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my other USB port. All right, and then I'm going to try hit start again. It should work this time. There we go. Um, I actually had it plug into my USB 3.0 port, uh, but I switched to a USB 2.0 port um, and it works fine. I just got a new USB 3.0 uh, hub, that's why um, that happened. Mm -hmm. There we go, now it's done. Let it reboot and let me change the camera angle. All right, let's go ahead and check. Yep. Let's go ahead and check, uh, go to settings and go to about phone again. And it should now say MDC. There we go, MDC. Do you see that? Let me turn this off. There we go. Now it says MDC. Once you have MDC, you're good to go. You can still make calls. Um, you can still use 3G4 GLT on MDC uh, on your phone. So it's just downgrading your modem. Let's go to the next step. All right, next step, we're going to go ahead and grab the MSL of this phone. To do that, uh, go to Settings, go to More, um, go to About Device, and hit the build number a bunch of times until it says uh, developer mode has been enabled. Then you'll be able to go to developer options and make sure USB debugging is checked on. All right. And then next, what we're going to do is uh, go to the dialer and we're going to go ahead and type pound pound three two eight two pound. All right. And then hit the edit button. All right. And it's going to ask you MSL. Um, so go ahead and just type one, two, three, four, five, six, and just hit OK. And it'll say uh, it's invalid. 
Um, so go ahead and connect it to your computer. All right. Now let's go to our computer. All right, next thing you need to download fa uh, fastboot.zip. I'll have links on my site also. Go ahead and download it. If you unzip it, uh, you'll mostly likely get a folder called fastboot in your downloads directory uh, like shown here. And uh, you should get a bunch of files in there. Um, so once you have fastboot in downloads directory, we're gonna go ahead and open a command prompt. So go ahead and type CMD under search. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type search or CMD and then you'll get the screen here. And what we're gonna do, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and go type CD downloads, enter, and CD fastboot, uh, enter, all right? And then we're gonna type ADB uh, shell, all right? And you should be able to now enter um, your shell here. Uh, you might get something here. Uh, let me go ahead and go back. And try 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 doing it again. ADB shell. Oh, you know what? Make sure you don't have more than one device connected. Hold on a second. There we go. Um, you should be in shell now. And uh, type su. All right. Uh, if you don't see the pound sign, and you might have to go to your phone if you're on a stock ROM. I'm on a custom ROM, but if you're on a stock ROM, you might have to go to the your phone when you connect to your USB and allow the uh, USB debugging connection or the ADB connection. Make sure you do that. And once you get here, um, you're gonna go ahead and type, uh, let me see here, get prop space RIL dot MSL like that. All right, and this should give you uh, the MSL. So my MSL is 428798, 428798. So I'm gonna leave that aside and let's go back to our phone. All right, let's go ahead and do the dialer again. And we're gonna go ahead and type pound pound, uh, three, four, two, four, pound. And this will give us uh, phone utility, all right? And then um, select the Qualcomm USB setting, all right? And then you'll wanna select a DM plus MDM, a DM plus modem plus ADB, the last option here and go ahead and hit OK. All right. And uh, you may have to enter the MSL code. If it does ask you, go ahead and enter it. You might not have to. Uh, in this case, we didn't have to. And we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our computer via micro USB cable. So let's go to our, go to our computer. All right, next go ahead and uh, you should have, if you do have uh, drivers installed, it should work out of the box. Uh, but for double check, go to uh, hardware and sound, go to device manager, and under uh, com and LPT, you should have something like Samsung USB serial port. Um, I have two of these, but uh, if, if you have one, it should be fine, all right? And then next, you're gonna go ahead and download this program called unlock.zip, uh, and go ahead and download it, uh, unzip it. And there is actually a, uh, Password for that. Uh, password for the zip file is mean and green zero four. That's M E A N N G R E E N O four. All right. Um, so go ahead and unlock it, and in in there you'll have an unlock setup program here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that program. All right. And this is supposed to unlock your SIM on your Sprint Galaxy S four. And we're almost done here. All right, it says I need .NET 4.5, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't install, so I'm gonna go ahead and install .NET Framework um, and install that manually. It's supposed to download it automatically. Uh, if it didn't work for you, go ahead and install it manually like I am doing here. Uh, let me go ahead and install .NET Framework 4.5, and I will be back when this is done installing. All right, it is almost done. Um, there we go. And it's asking me to restart. I'm gonna go ahead and try it without restarting. I hate restarting my computer. Uh, let me go ahead and see if this will install without restarting. And it is installing and next, yes, it's installing. Um, so I should be good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the unlocker here now. And this should be done uh, pretty soon here. And say yes. All right, it is done. 
All right, now I should have a new program that I can run it here. Uh, S4 Flasher. So I've got a new program here. All right, I'm getting some kind of error. I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer to see if that will fix it. All right, I rebooted my computer. Let me go ahead and try to run that program again, uh, S4 Flasher. And this time it worked. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Scan and Unlock. All right, and it says phone completed, phone rebooting. Um, so it is done, and uh, I guess that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it reboot, and I will be back shortly. Hi folks, so my phone has rebooted. Um, don't forget to uh, reset your connection back. Um, so we're going to go ahead and type pound, 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 uh, three, four, two, four, pound. And then go to Qualcomm USB setting and set this back to a MTP ADB. Hit OK. All right, and that should be all good to go. And now the fun part, uh, we're going to go ahead and insert a uh, AT&T SIM card and see if it works. So let me go ahead and take the uh, this Sprint SIM card out. I'm going to go ahead and insert the AT&T SIM card. And uh, I'm not, I don't think it will work on T-Mobile, um, but it should work on AT&T HSVA Plus. I'm not sure about LTE. So I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, reboot here. And let's see if it works, and I'll be back when this reboots. All right, my phone has rebooted. And let me go ahead and clear all these messages out. Eh. All right. And here we go. So I'm getting signal. I'm not getting any kind of uh, SIM, you know, invalid SIM, so it must have worked. Let me go ahead and dial 411. And I should get AT&T now. Welcome to Sprint 411. Oh, you know what? It's not on AT&T for some reason. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, you may have to go to settings, more networks. All right, it says unable to establish wireless data connection. That's fine. Go to mobile networks, change the network mode. Now you'll want to be on GSM, uh, UMTS, obviously. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe select manual. All right, and this should get me, uh, now it should be using the SIM card instead of the uh, Sprint network. Hi, right, folks, so uh, for now, I haven't been able to get AT&T working, but it seems like it did unlock the SIM. Uh, there may be additional ways um, to actually activate it on AT&T or T-Mobile or other networks. Um, so I should have a part two of this, but for now, this should unlock your Sprint Galaxy S4. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. As always, if this video has helped you unlock your Sprint Galaxy S4, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there. And if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at the galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with round of the week tips, hacks, stuff like this. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.